Uh-huh. Okay. We'll take a break in the middle and do it then, too. Okay. I think we're, I think we're there. I think we're on. I'm Are we live? Out. I believe we're live. Oh, you know what I didn't do? What didn't you do? I didn't go into StreamYard at all. Tracy. Tracy. I know. Yes. Jim is, Jim is doing better. You know, I'm still, I, all of a sudden, <clears throat> I'll get super tired, like out of nowhere. Just now. Just like just now, I had to go <laughs> lie down for 10 minutes. But but I definitely, uh, you know, I'm not positive anymore and generally have more energy. So that's good. But I think this I think it's going gonna, gonna to last for a little while. That's my prediction. Of course, it's, it doesn't help that it gets dark at 3 o'clock in the day <laughs> anymore. Yeah. All right. Look, all the cool kids are here. All right. That's very good. We're live. You're live. You're live. We got a fun show. Big fun show for you here today. All right. I'm gonna spit out my candy. You're gonna spit it out. My mouth candy. Everybody's here. All right. We did not really figure out exactly the set we're gonna play. Yeah, we didn't put them in order yet, so yeah. we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna start with the one that we know best. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna start with that one. All right. Yeah, you want to? Yeah. Oh, we didn't turn on the fireplace. Uh. Turn it on. Well, I don't want the heat to come on. Well, can't it can't it be on without the heat? Well, yeah. Where's the thing? I could never get that to work. <laughs> we'll see, but now the heat's on, isn't it? Yeah. And you know, you'd think you'd think we'd work this stuff out before. So that's the flame. That's the temperature. Yeah, put it to nothing. I put it to zero. That's good. All right, and that's good. it's like an air conditioner now, right? <laughs> we'll see if it yeah. actually goes off. All right. All right. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing okay out there. I know a friend of mine down the street has got the COVID now. Um, you didn't get it from me. You didn't share. No, but stuff's going around. Yes, it is. But I did get to see my grandson. That's always good. Roman. He's coming over here tomorrow, too. We're going to have a good party. He's going to play some drums. He loves coming over here and playing the drums. He's quite good at it. And uh, my son Jackson and Kaylin are in town. It's like a party over here. Wow. In Shootsbury. Right? Right. Lucky you. Yep. Over at my house. What's um, going on over there? What's, how's the pickles <laughs> Pickles doing? I finally got pickles to lay on my chest, like to actually lay all the way down and not just sit on me like, you mm -hmm. know, like the queen of all she surveys. And so that was a huge milestone that just happened yesterday. Well, that's good. So, you know, just 15 short months from the time she came home to the time that she actually... Well, ooh. did she do it today, too? Is it, or is that just... Uh, a, no, I, I have not been... You, you, know, you haven't been prone. Pro prostate on the on the couch. <laughs> yeah, I, ha <laughs> I haven't been on the couch today. Yeah. So, um, but she's doing great. Good. And so yeah, Pickles and I are doing great. Good. Big times. Yep. Big times in a small town. Good times in Greenfield. So. Um, okay. So that's that. Looks like that's working now. Got okay, you got everything side. happening over there. Whoa, Kate says it's in the 80s in Austin, Texas today. I can't even imagine. Obviously, wearing a turtleneck. That is because yeah, no, it's, it's in the 40s here. It's, it's not up here. It's in the 30s here on the hill. Is it? Yep. Hmm. Um, well, Texas, it's a trade-off down there. You got that governor, but <laughs> it's nice and warm. So it's... All right, you ready for this? I'm ready for this. So our theme today is um, songs that we wish we had written. Jim Henry says that theme works perfectly for him as is. Yeah, why would you need to? Um, to because I did this that. big whole thing with my patrons on Patreon about, you know, there was a Q&A and somebody said, what songs do you wish you had written? And I realized there isn't a song out there that I wish I had written, like the song. But there are... Um, tools that other writers have or access to depths that other writers have that I wish I had, you know. Um, and so it's not the, quite the same thing as wishing that, oh, God, why did they get to that song before I did? Like, 
what I really wish is I was just them, you know, and had well, access. Right. That's kind of the that's the bottom line. I wish, you know. I, I just wish I had that I access. I wish I was them when they wrote that song. Yeah, but you know, of course that's impossible. You'd have to have their whole life. Their so whole instead, life. we'll just play their songs. We'll just play their songs and rejoice. And so this first one out of the gate is no surprise, a Dave Carter song, and it has become, I thought if I was ever going to get a tattoo, I might get just like a little mountain right here on my wrist, because this song, from the first time I heard it, um, just really spoke to my soul. It's not a song I could have ever written, um, and I think it's a, a combination of Dave's entire spiritual upbringing led him to this song, and that's just not not a thing that I ever had, and so... This is the mountain. I was born in a fork tongue story, raised up by merchants and drugstore liars.
Dave Carter's The Mountain. Now, I have to ask you a question right now. Yeah. While I was upstairs, <laughs> <laughs> did you mess with the reverb? Because it sounds... Awesome. Whole, it sounds a lot <laughs> bigger and longer than it used to. What? <laughs> I gave myself a little extra. No, did you change it? No, I gave myself. You just put. Extra. You just gave yourself more because it sounded like more on everything. Did you change? Did you did you change it? <laughs> you did, didn't you? <laughs> you didn't just give yourself more. Did you just? What did you do? Did you change this? I, don't, I might have did something in there. <laughs> I didn't really know what that was, so I just. So you just you just moved around some levers. Yeah. Oh my God. It's too long. That's the problem. No, it's not too long. I'm just gonna split the difference a little. What did you put it on? <laughs> <laughs> What's the number? I'm not having this discussion. I know what the number was actually. What what number is it now? It's at the right number. <laughs> He's mad at me, can you it, tell? Don't touch my stuff when I'm not here. <laughs> I know what I'll do. I'll wait till he goes to lie down because he doesn't feel well. And then I'll, t- I'll turn up the reverb because he won't notice. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I never thought for a second you wouldn't notice. Oh, my God. I mean, as soon as you start singing, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, enough of this nonsense. <clears throat> But it was beautiful, wasn't it? Come on, (laughs) admit it. That's just what you want with that song, and I actually want it back for, um, for you know the um, for this song. Okay. For this one. Let me let me just see where it is now. Hello. All right, that's a little better. I want it for this one again. It's still pretty long. No, it's not. It's it's where it was. I can tell from the angle of the dial. Yeah. (laughs) Oh my God. Yeah, Mark says it sounded wonderful. Thanks, Mark. Welcome Thanks for having to my preschool back. here. <laughs> okay, what are we doing now? All right, well, now we're going to do... <clears throat> everybody wishes that they had written a John Prine song because the guy's amazing. <clears throat> or he was amazing. And we're going to do this. We're going to do this one. I actually recorded this one recently and, and put it on my Patreon, which I... This is, this is kind of a, a, a theme. It's like we, we learn songs for this live stream and usually one of them sticks and I just really love it. And so we did a... We did a John Prine and uh, who was the other one? Towns Van Sant. That's right, Town Van Sant to uh, tribute, and and uh, I played this one and I really really loved it. And you sound good playing it, so. And we're gonna do it in G instead of F. Oh, oh we are. Which okay. is which is rare. I don't I don't usually go up the key, but oh. we're, gonna, we're gonna try that. <clears throat> nice and simple. You come home late, you come home early You come on big when you're feeling small You come home straight, you come home curly Sometimes you don't come home at all So what in the world's come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? You've broken the speed, the sound of loneliness. You're out there running just to be on the run. I've got a heart that burns with a fever. I got a worried and a jealous mind. How can a love that'll last forever Get left so far behind So what in the world's come over you What in heaven's name have you done You've broken the speed to sound alone Out there running just to be on the run
So mighty mean and a dreadful sorrow It's crossed the evil line today How can you ask about tomorrow? Got one word to say. So what in the world come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? You've broken the speed, the sound of loneliness. You're out there running just to be on the run. Broken the speed, the sound of loneliness. You're out there running just to be on the run. Man, what a great song that is. Oh, yeah. Well done, Jimmy. <sighs> Puts me in a place, that one. Yeah. Lonely place? Are you in a lonely place no. now? Well, not lonely exactly, just sort of pensive, mm -hmm. which as we know means sadly thoughtful. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm going to put this down. Oh man, everybody's chiming in. We got people from Greenfield, Massachusetts. Greenfield, hey Storm. Thanks uh, for being here. California, New Jersey. Bob Cole I saw was there. Hi, Bob, Bob Cole. Cole. Joe from Chicago. South Jersey. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. So I hope um, hope the reverb's okay for everybody. <laughs> God, <laughs> what a sneak you are. What a sneak. I am sneaky. Yeah. All my life I've been uh -huh. sneaky. Did you check my email too while no, you were there? No, I, I didn't check your email. <laughs> yeah, about my browsing history. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah. No, that's a work that computer. Way. It's a work computer. It's fine. <laughs> well, um, read up for us. Let's see. I'm going to change the pace a little bit. Good idea. Uh, we we do we do have a lot of kind of sl slow ones today. Yeah, it's mine are all like slow finger picky ones today. I got one. I got one up one. But mine are all language heavy. These aren't songs that I picked because they're quarterly, you know, inventive. <laughs> yeah, like that last one. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you know what I mean. Yeah. No, like I you mean. you have some that are more like. Yeah, a little more involved. Yeah, mine mine are not so much. I wouldn't mind a little extra for this one. Oh, okay. So, um, so I've had the opportunity to meet many of my heroes, most notably Mary Chapin Carpenter and Joan Baez. And of course, I traveled with Joan Baez on a tour bus for, well, first for five weeks, then for another couple weeks, and then um, did a bunch of opening dates for her when Flower of Avalon came out. And one thing I can say. Oh, oh, and I also met Sean Colvin the night that I met Mary Chapin Carpenter. So it was just like. It, what I what I found is that um, that these folks have all been just so kind um, and so open, and that I, much to my own surprise, was not nervous around them. Maybe because they were so kind, or I, I don't I don't really know why. I I didn't get tongue tied. I didn't get nervous. I was just happy to meet them. You know, after singing along with them for so many years, there is one person in my life that I met. Um, that made me just drop all my words. Like I saw his face, someone told me who he was, and I was just like, I, I didn't know what to do with myself. And that person was the poet and songwriter, Frank Tedesso. Um, he's pretty under the radar in some circles. Um, folk circles know him. Um, he was active in Chicago and in New York City for quite a while. <clears throat> he, I, he's probably as renowned for his poetry, maybe more renowned for his poetry than his songs. He's only got the one album called Songs from Einstein's Violin. But this is an album that Dave Carter and I were listening to, oh gosh, maybe in 2000 or so. And we just happened to be at this, um, at this uh, Folk Alliance conference where all the folkies gather once a year and play for each other and, you know, try to get some business going. And, um, and Frank Tedesso just happened to be there, and and somebody somebody pulled us by the sleeves and said, "You got to meet Frank Tedesso because we've been raving him up, you know, and talking about how brilliant his songs are." And 
And I remember just looking at him and he, you know, he was just, <laughs> just like, he was a little bit older. He's a little bit frumpy, you know, just kind of like, dun -dun -dun, you know, <laughs> and I just was like, he sing, uh, sings kind of weird too. Uh, uh, he, yeah, I just did not know what to say. It was rare. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I played with him one time. Did you? I did. Down in New York City. Did you play with him? Do you mean with him? With him or? Yeah, yeah I was I, somehow. I don't know how I managed to do this. Like you were swapping songs. Or you played no, no, along. I, I played along. I was accompanying oh. uh, Louise Taylor. Oh, cool. Down in New York City at some kind of thing. Jack Hardy. Uh huh. Um, was it was at this nice theater and. And Frank was there. All, all, lots of people were there, and I was playing with lots of people. So. Wow, lucky you. I didn't have the same reaction that you did, but... Well, you, had pre you hadn't been studying his no, work. No, I had and never like, heard of him before. You know, discussing the merits and stuff like that. So what I love about Frank Tedesso is, um, is how true he is to his metaphors. You'll find some of the same metaphors surfacing and resurfacing in his work, especially sunlight. Sunlight comes up quite a bit. He's a brilliant st storyteller, um, a masterful poet. It's just, um, and this song, this song just knocks me out. I'm just gonna play it for you, and you can just, you can just hear the magic. Um, this is definitely a song I never would have dreamed of. This perspective. Um, this is called Stumpy's Last Dance. Where the feeling in my legs used to be Now there's just fish there Flashing silver in the shallows The dark stillness of the river Spreading yourself so gracefully on to me with a feeling in my legs used to be outside sunlight on the sidewalk chalk marks for the kids dancing hopscotch Old men move just like memories, and young girls appear and disappear like dreams. And I reach from this chair to set fire to the air, but nothing burns, nobody screams. There's a ghost in my
Tedesso, man. Real. So real. That dolphin image just slays me. And he goes back and he swims. And he swims away. Mm. 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 Some cool legs he's got there. Yeah. It's hard to sing that one without crying, I gotta admit. Well, so that's Frank Tedesso. You could try to find his album. It is called Songs from Einstein's Violin, and it was put out by Wyndham Hill. I don't remember the year, but it was probably late 90s, and um, it's just him and his guitar, and he's a beautiful, beautiful guitar player, and he's got a really unique delivery. All of his O's are really O's. <laughs> I don't think he'd talk like that. I think it's just an affectation from, from when he sings, but... Um, Definitely worth a listen if you get a chance. Frank Tedesso. I see a lot of pages on your music stand there, yep. Jimmy. Yep. We're going to change the mood here a little bit. <clears throat> going to have a little, a little spritz before we get going. A spritz. I'm still a little. I'm still recovering from this, from this COVID thing. <laughs> I'm kind of hoarse. <clears throat> I got no stamina. Well, it's no secret that I'm a big fan of Slade Cleaves. <laughs> Who's got, not? Got a little, I got a little man crush happening on him there. I think it makes him nervous, but um, <laughs> he's aware. He's aware of my my affection for his songs and his songwriting. Um, and this is a great. This is a great song. One of the greatest story songs of all time, I think. And. Uh, it's, it's big fun to sing, so we're going to give it a try right now. This one does not need super long reverb, but... <clears throat> Breakfast in Hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Epic. This song is epic. Yeah. Well, in the melting snows of Ontario, where the wind will make a shiver, it was month of May up in Georgian Bay near the mouth of the Musquash River Where the bears prowl and coyotes howl and you can hear the osprey scream yeah. Back in 99 we were cutting pine 
sending it down the stream. Well, young Sandy Gray came from Go Home Bay all the way from PEI, where the weather is rough and it makes you tough, and no man's afraid to die. Well, Sandy came a smile and 30,000 islands was the place to claim his glory. Now Sandy's gone, but his name lives on, and this is Sandy's story. Now Sandy Gray was boss of the men who tossed the trees onto the shore. Well, they'd come and go till they'd build a flow, a hundred thousand logs or more. And he'd ride them down to the Severn Sound to cut them up in the mills for timber. And the ships would haul spring, summer, and fall Till the ice came in December And one Sabbath day, Big Sandy Gray Came into camp with a PV on his shoulder With a thunder crack, he dropped his axe And the room got a little bit colder he Said, come on all you, we got work to do We gotta give her all we can give her there's a jam along that the little jog near the mouth of the Musquash River. With no time to pray on this Lord's Day, they were hoping for God's forgiveness. But the jam was high in a troubled sky, and they'd set about their business. Well, they poked with the poles and ran with the rolls and tried to stay on their feet. Every trick they tried, one man cried, this log jam's got us beat. Ah, but Sandy Gray was not afraid, he let out a mighty yell. Well, I'll be damned, we'll break this jam, or it's breakfast in hell, boys, breakfast in hell. Now every one of the men did the work of ten And Sandy scrambled up to the top He's working like a dog leaving twenty foot logs And it looked like he'd never stop Well they struggled on these men so strong Till the jam began to sway Well they dove for cover in the banks of the river All except for Sandy Gray Now with thoughts and death they held their breath as they saw their friend go down. Well, they all knew in a second or two he'd be crushed or frozen or drowned. Well they saw him fall and they heard him call just once and then it was over. Well, young Sandy Gray gave his life that day near the mouth of the Musquash River. Ah, but Sandy Gray was not afraid He let out a mighty yell Well, I'll be damned We'll break this jam Or it's breakfast in hell Boys, breakfast in hell Listen close, you hear it goes down by Sandy Gray Falls. Through the tops of the trees, you'll hear in the breeze the echoes of a mighty yell. I'll be damned, we'll break this jam. It's breakfast in hell. Ah, but Sandy Gray lives on today in the echoes of a mighty yell. I'll be damned, we'll break this jam. Breakfast in hell, boys, breakfast in hell. Yeah. I just love that song. 
don't know. That's a good one. It's a good one. Epic. Epic. And Slade's production of that song. It's perfect. It is perfect. That little bloop, that little electric guitar thing. What is that, Garth Morlex? Garth Morlex, yeah, he was the producer on oh, that. Oh, that's great. It's so good. That is a great song and a great production. Yeah. I kind of hate to actually sing it in public because it's just. No, it's a he, great story. He it's, just does. He just does such a great job with it. But well, it's a great story, and you do it justice, Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. Because you know, I can feel it because I've all my, all the time I spent as a lumberjack. <laughs> <laughs> so it brings you right back. Yeah, it brings it? me back to the chase. <laughs> Well, you kind of were a lumberjack. I mean, well, you've stacked a lot of wood. I have stacked some wood. Being a hardy New Englander like you are? Yeah. Back in the but day. But then I discovered that, you know, instead of shoveling off the snow outside, shoveling the path to the snow, shoveling the snow, bringing it inside, lighting the fire, cleaning up, all that stuff, you can do all that stuff, or you can walk over to the thermostat and go like this. <laughs> like that. And you stay just as warm. And how's your wrist? Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what do you got here for us? What's well, going on? I think um, this is another writer who's a great storyteller, like Slade Cleaves. Another writer who um, <clears throat> who has access to things that I just don't have. And in this particular song, I think it's the storytelling, and then also just the <clears throat> well, fittingly, the wistfulness of this song songwriter I'm talking about, of course, Richard Schindel, one of my all-time favorites. Um, I would have done Mavis, but I could never have sung that song without crying because <laughs> when she flies away, it's just altogether too much. But um, this is a writer with just deep, deep heart and a very distinctive voice and... Um, and of course, little guitar doodads that I won't be able to replicate here because he plays this in dadgad and I'm playing it in regular tuning. But, um, <coughs> hey, you know, before we go any further, yeah, <coughs> we got any banners that you can put up on the, oh, on the screen? We yeah. didn't put up any banners there today. Yeah, let's see. Which is, which is, an, you know. How about a banner uh, about our tip jar? I know, because, you know. Tips. Tips. <laughs> <laughs> tips keep Just us going. Just because it's free doesn't mean it's free. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but yeah, sorry to interrupt there. Yeah, we love tips. Thank you for tips. Tips keep us going. They tips do. pay the rent, buy the kibble, and and uh, you know keep keep roaming in 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 uh, boots. Keep roaming. Which he loses all the time. Well, and also he's growing so fast. He is, he's pop out of him every two months. Yeah. So, um, so this is a song about about going home. We all love a song about going home. This is Wisteria. I'm okay. <laughs> Let's not drive away just yet. Give me a moment more to walk through those rooms again. To walk through that door. If we turn off the radio, I've only to close my eyes. Carry me home The vine of my memory Is blooming around those ears But it's true, it's a joy to tame Wistie Tempted to ring the bell 
maybe they'd ask me in Maybe it's just as well Let it all be Remember the price we paid It seemed like a lot back then Remember the love we made The day we moved in The vine of my memory Is blooming around those ears But it's true, it's a chore to change Did need some pruning back. I know that it's not my place. But how could they just cut it down? Leave not a trace. So let's not drive away just yet. Give me a moment more to walk through those streams again, to walk through that door. It's a chore to tame is such a Schindel things to say. <laughs> it is such a... It, it's a chore to tame? Yeah, it's just his language. His language is so particular to him. It's just the way he talks. But what a great, what a great song about going home and finding it's just, you know, all the fantasies that we all have about going into the old house. You know, will they let me in? I wonder what they've done to it, you mm. know? And, and then finding something like this, the wisteria all cut down. You can't go home again. You can't go home again. Turns out. I went home to my to my house in Southern California in El Toro on Jutwa Road. And um used to have this this big mound of a lawn and then just little rose bushes along the house there and along the front porch and <clears throat> they've built this huge <laughs> wall like this big white stucco wall and there's bougainvillea all over it and it's stained from where fences leaned against it and you know or some sort of lattice leaned against it and then broke away and it's just it's like a fortress now my childhood home it's very strange and a lot smaller no doubt than you remember actually it's bigger than i remember and it's worth a whole lot more than i ever <laughs> yeah. dreamed it would be <laughs> i'm like that house is yeah. half a million dollars right now but it's Southern California, which is ridiculous. So, I went. I went to go visit a play, an old house of mine. We moved a lot, so we had a lot of houses. Oh, that's true. You did. And 
uh, one of the houses was on a lake, a private lake, you know, members only. Oh, yeah. And, you uh, got a song out of that. And I was in Kansas <laughs> um, where this place was, and I went to visit, and they wouldn't let me in because there was a guard at the gate. They wouldn't let me in. And then there was a guy, a resident behind me, who took pity on me. He said, what's your last name? And I said, Henry. He said, oh, yeah, we're friends with this family. Let him in. It was very nice of him. Oh, was he really friends with your family? No, no, no. He was just, <laughs> he wanted me to get out of the way, I think. And oh, he was yeah. Like, he, he heard what I was saying. I just wanted to look around, you know. I hadn't been yeah. there in, in 30 years or something. And, uh, yeah, I don't remember it at all. <laughs> I mean, I didn't remember anything. Oh, really? Yeah. It didn't look familiar? Yeah, no, it was 30 years. And, yeah, yeah, they I was had... just a kid. Yeah. But, you know, the, the lesson was, you know, if you try and go home, there's guards at the gate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, there's a song you could write. Yeah, That's a could. song, Jimmy. Oh, Sounds man. like a song. Everything's a song. Everything's a song. Well, speaking of, what do you got speaking for us? Speaking of songs, let's do, this is a classic a classic song written by, I wrote it down because I, it's George Jones recorded it, but he didn't write it. A guy named Billy Yates wrote this song. It's a fantastic song. The first time I heard this song was I was on tour with Eliza Gilkison, who um, one day she said, Jim, you got to listen to this song. And she puts this song on. And she's just going crazy because she just, <laughs> just loves it. And the production of it, it is. It's, it's amazing. It's quintessential. You can't get any better than this song. Choices is the name of the song. <clears throat> and the production is fantastic. Twin fiddles. And, oh. uh, and, and she just played it over and over and over again. And, it, you know, every time I heard it, it was, it was great. And so I had to learn this song. Fantastic little song. I'm sort of in the country mode today. Yeah, you are. That's, that's kind of, you good. know, that's where I live. <coughs> that's where I live. And uh, let's give it a try. Can you see? Well, I've had choices Since the day I was born There were voices That told me right from wrong If I hadn't listened well, I wouldn't be here today Living and dying With the choices I made Well, I was tempted From an early age I found I liked drinking And I never turned it down There were loved ones But I turned them all away now I'm living and dying with the choices I've made And I've had choices since the day I was born There were voices that told me right from wrong If I had listened, well I wouldn't be here today Choices I've made. Hear it up, Tracy. I'm paying for the things I have done if I could go back well, Lord knows I would run but I'm still losing this game of life I play I'm losing and dying the choices I've made and I've had choices the day I was born, there were voices that told me right from wrong. If I had listened, well, I wouldn't be here today, living and dying with the choices I made. Yes, I'm living and dying with the choices I made.
Yeah, perfect little song. Perfect <laughs> little country song. Yeah. And it's 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 astounding. I mean, it is. He, George Jones didn't write it, but if you know anything about his life, this is his life right here. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Great, love that song. Love that song and love, love song. the way you do it. Yeah. <clears throat> what else you got? What else you got in your bag of tricks there? Well, it looks like I've got two more. Do you have two more? I don't know how many I have. <laughs> well, this one is a Buddy Monlock song. It's not The Kid. The Kid is a great song. Buddy oh, yeah. Monlock. Another writer of tremendous heart. And I think um, I was drawn to this song for today's show because I remember um, right after Dave Carter passed away hearing this song. And I had already known this song. We were already friends with Buddy. In fact, Buddy was one of the first kind of our, of our troubadour pals, um, our very first folk alliance we did showcases with Buddy, and we stayed at his house in Nashville. And back when, Fancy. Yeah, yeah. And we did the, I think we, what did we go to the Bluebird that time? or No, Douglas Corner. We played a gig with him at Douglas Corner. And he was just a friend of, of Dave's music early on. And and after after Dave passed away, I heard this song in a new way. I was like, this is, the song is for Dave. And, you know, over the years, it's been 20 years since Dave Carter passed away, but you know, we've lost a lot of our troubadour pals since, you know, along the way. And every time, every time I think of this song and just how true it is, how true it is about, about the kind of work that, that troubadours are doing. And so, um, only a guy with a heart like Buddy's could write this song. Um, so, um, let me make sure I'm in tune here. But I could could have picked any number of Buddy's songs. I mean, Poetic Justice, Magnolia Street, The Kid, of course, Break of the Cup, which I don't hear a lot of people play, but I absolutely love that one. Um, so many great songs. So... Oh, yes, this is the new mandolin. Did you introduce your new mandolin to the people? Yes, this is the new mandolin. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a Gibson uh, F9. F9. Sort of the like a canine, but for music. F9, sort of. I've always, I've always wanted to have an F-style mandolin. And, uh, Tell us why it's called an F-style, Jimmy. Because it's, I don't know why it's called. It's the shape of it. It's not instead of instead of just being round. It's got the little curly cue up here, and this little little wing right here. I don't know what you call that. Does your other mandolin have F holes in it? It does. Oh, okay. Plus, it's got F holes. Yeah. Yeah, those are called F holes. Violins have them too. Yeah. As you know. Um, but I've been enjoying it, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it, it too. It sounds. It sounds. It's a I good think sound. what do we does that Carmelita? I think its name is Carmelita. Well, that's no, <laughs> its name is not Carmelita. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. No, because look at it. It's very it's very caramel looking. It's like it burnt caramel. caramel. And it's got it's not all shiny. It's a it's, it's a matte. Maybe its name is Flan. <laughs> Flan. <laughs> no. <laughs> you get to name your let's own help, instrument. Let's help yeah. name the mandolin, everybody. It, Put your put no. your comments in. No. You know, just take a look. Take a I gander. I will ignore all names. I think I think we need to name it. Oh, Christ. I know Dan Unger's gonna have something to say about this. All right. All right. You Here ready? Yeah. This is called No Choice. It was a love so big that it filled his heart till it swelled and finally burst apart. Where the love spilled out, they called it art, but he never really had no choice. Whoa, we had no choice. No, he never had no choice When he gave his river a voice He never really had no choice He was thinking that the pain came much too soon When he locked himself up inside his room Oh, it hurt real bad to write that tune But he never really had no choice there were some who could not understand Why he built those castles with his hands And he knew damn well they were only sand But he never really had no choice Oh, he had no choice No, he never had no choice When he gave his river a voice He never really had 
had no choice Sometimes a man, sometimes a boy Yeah, he made some music and he made some noise But he felt his pain, he felt his joy And he never really had no choice It was a beautiful fire inside of him As he balanced way out on that limb Could have burned right through that branch so thin But he never really had no choice Whoa! choice when he gave his river a voice he never really had no choice and they all talked about him when he died they studied and they theorized but when he was through they laughed and cried and he never really had no choice it was a love so big that it filled his heart till it swelled and finally burst apart where the love spilled out they called it art but he never really had no choice Buddy Monlock there, a song he wrote back in 1987 called No Choice. 1987. I was in the, I was in the second grade, I think, in 1987. No, you weren't. <laughs> Where the love spilled out, they called it art, yeah, but he never line. really had no choice. You do what you do, and yeah. people call it what they call it. You just got to be true, right? So beautiful. Hey, let's... Uh, since I got this brand new mandolin, let's play a let's play a fiddle tune. Oh, you want to play let's, a fiddle tune? Let's, let's let's break ranks here and, and play a fiddle tune. <clears throat> Which one is the question? Well, middle son. <laughs> Whichever one you can play best <laughs> on your mandolin. The strings are all messed up because I'm playing it too much. No, Bob, we don't do Carmelita. But <laughs> there is... <laughs> Carmelita. I, I did hear a Dave, Car Dave Carter and I made a demo of that song one million years ago. Actually, he had made the demo and then just sort of at the last minute, he already had somebody else singing on it, but he got me to sing on top of that. This was way back when, 1996. I don't know what happened to that. It was one of my favorite all-time recordings of us. And... I, mean, I don't know. It ended up in a glove box somewhere on a Melt hot highway. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Such a shame. But yeah, anyway, so that's the answer, Bob. We don't really do that song. But what do you got for well, us? Let's do uh, St. Andrew. Why not? St. Andrew. No. Uh, I'm so used to that one, it's like the last one in a series of three. So. Hang on. Yeah, Buddy does whisper when he sings. He's got a very, he's kind of like, I think he and Frank Tedesso are friends. I think Buddy may have been the one that said, hey, you guys, Frank Tedesso is here. <laughs> he may have even given us the Frank Tedesso album, but Buddy has a whispery delivery. He doesn't belt much every now and then just for effect, so it feels good to kind of bear down on that one. All right, you start.
Aren't you going to play it with me? One, two, three. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> there it is. Thank you. Thank you for indulging me. <clears throat> <laughs> it's very sparkly sounding. <laughs> you had that problem in the rehearsal, too. Yeah. Can't get it off over well, those headphones. headphones are... Yeah. Well, look, it's already, we're already in an hour. Oh, well, I know, but we talked a lot at the top. Right. So, what do you got? Uh, well, of course, uh, my favorite uh, Steve, oh, Steve yeah. Earl song. Oh, yeah. Great song. Now, why do you wish you would have written this one? Because it's a great song. I know, but but say more. What what is it about this one that really gets you? Go deep, Jimmy. Give us <laughs> I, I a little like piece I, I of like that I'm soul. I feel like I'm in therapy. Uh, what is it? Well, you know, there's some songs. I always say this about the song. There's some songs that are just every time you play them, there's magic in them. I don't know what it is exactly about it, but there's just this is just a it's just a beautiful song. And every time, no matter what, no matter who plays it, I mean, Amy Lou Harris does a version of the song, Steve Earl does a version of the song, and um, it's just a beautiful song. And it's I yeah you know it's filled it's about regret really, and we all have some. I'm just switching up our um, our little banner there. If people don't feel comfortable. Sending money over the internet, tips over the internet. We do take checks to my P.O. box. Get a few of those every month. We're really grateful for that. Send a check, and we'll send you a letter back. Say hi. I've got some pen pals out of this, which has been really fun. So, um, Some pen pals. Yeah. Nice. So that's, that's another option, too. All right. Let's try this one. Mm -hmm. This one's just called Goodbye. <clears throat>
perfect together mm -hmm. simple 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 but um but great and honest i think i feel it feels honest to me yeah well i've heard that that's he you know that's a song he wrote just before he went into rehab yeah which would make a lot of sense yeah <coughs> <coughs> well i think we've got one more is that right or do you have another one i have one? another one after oh you this. do have another one okay well this is my last song i think and I would like some extra sauce for this one. A packet and a half, if you don't now, mind. I, I don't want this to be the new thing that happens here. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying for today, because okay. I'm so finger picky, and I picked all these really, like, you know, these kinds of songs. Okay. So this, so Jim Henry mentioned that we had the good fortune to tour. Did you mention Eliza Gilgeson, us on tour with her? I felt like you mentioned it, but maybe... I mentioned I was on tour with her. I didn't mention we had, oh, yeah. we we had did, done a little tour with we her. We did do time. a little trio tour, which was so beautiful, wasn't it? It was. It was great. Oh, my gosh. Because Eliza's Eliza Gilkison's songs, I mean, let's face it, they're magic. There's nothing she can't write, no style. You know, she can just... She's got chops, that She's lady. She's got the juju. She does. She's got the touch. And, um, but when we got to rehearsing this song, this one just, it just, like you're saying with goodbye, and I, I know that feeling that you're talking about, it just kind of stills your soul. You know, every night we would play this, and I would just be like, this is the most holy thing I've ever heard in my life. And so <laughs> I'm going to try, I'm going to try to do it justice. Um, of course, many of these songs today, it's our first time playing them in front of people, as is often the case during our live streams, because this is where we take our chances um, and then ask you to tip us for it. <laughs> 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 but um, it's part of the great experiment of, you know, of doing these themed shows, right, is that we, we trip over lots and lots of new material and... Uh, and, and, and some of it sticks. Some of it sticks. And this song, I've just been wanting to try this, and so I find, I'm so glad I finally have an excuse. Um, this is as close to praying as I'll ever get. Um, a song of gratitude, particularly um, uh, appropriate for the moment, I think. Um, seculare. Thank you for the sun Thank you for the full moon Thank you for my true love's face And our lives and love consumed Thank you for the stars Home along the river Thank you for the ancient groves and the fish. 
fishes brown and silver all things running wild and grass enough for grazing water flowing clean and pure all the beauty that saves Oceans rise and falling Children born to carry on And the end that's always calling Thank you for the song Don't go wrong And the hopes that won't give up Thank you for my tears Loved ones who forgave me Thank you for my darkest years And the sorrow Lovely song. So beautiful. Done, lo done lovingly. Uh -huh. I put all my love in that one yep. today. Yep. Uh oh. What happened? I got rid of the reverb by mistake. Oh, <laughs> now you've done it, Jimmy. All right, hang on. Let's see if I can get it back. You're yeah, you're I got it back. Okay. Oh, okay. Undo. The famous undo. close all right well, <laughs> well, let's do one more here all right and what what show about songs that we have wish we had written would be complete without a richard thompson song oh my goodness we're doing richard thompson that's exciting uh yes yes yeah this is this really is one of the top 10 songs of all time i think i think you don't think so Oh, no, it's a, it's, well, Richard Thompson. I mean, come on. <laughs> that was a noncommittal answer. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm just thinking of several songs of his are running around in my head, like all competing. Well, this for is, the... this is one, and, you know, Bees Wing is, is another one, and, um, I yeah. love this song. I yeah. love this story. Yeah, it is a classic, classic story. It's like Greek mythology, this one. It's great, yeah. So let's do this one, and, uh, we'll let these people get on with their day. Let me course, just make sure I'm in tune Of course, here. it's nighttime now. It is. It's here black outside. Coast. <laughs> well, yeah. We can't tell. We don't yeah, have the window anymore. Yeah, but man, it's, it's just, yeah. It's brutal. A couple more weeks, and it's going to start getting lighter. You know, I actually, this is kind of my favorite time, this sort of dive into the darkness. I like this. Yeah. When we start coming back out of the hole of, of the it, dark, I, I, it's it awesome. doesn't please me. Yeah. Oh, well. Because that just means February's coming, and February is always just a disaster. But it's Here. lighter outside. <laughs> so we can see it. Well, we don't have any snow. That's, that's a positive right now. Yeah, well, that's true. Somebody says that PayPal is telling them that they don't exist, that you don't exist. Oh. It's probably an ER on the end. Maybe that's it. Instead of AR. Oh, yeah, your spell checker might have might have nabbed that. Um... No, I definitely exist <laughs> on PayPal. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. All right, should we give this one a spin? 
Mm. Yeah, there's always the um, the Venmo option, I guess, and um, or the the check option yep, that we had to do pay. all that stuff. So, oh, Tom May is in the house. Hi, Tom. Nice to see you here. I saw Bob McWilliams was here too. For yeah, a while. Radio Bob. All right. Cool. Let's give it a try. Let's do it. Ready? Yeah. How's this start now? Says Red Molly to James, that's a fine motorbike. Old girl could feel special underneath such light. Said James to Red Molly, my hat's off to you. It's a fence in Black Lightning, 1952. And I've seen you at the corners and the cafes, it seems. Red hair and black leather, my favorite color scheme. And he pulled her on behind And down to Box Hill They did right <laughs> Said James to Red Molly Well, here's a ring for your right hand Though I'll tell you in earnest I'm a dangerous man I've fought with the law since I was 17 And I've robbed many men to get my Vincent machine Now I'm 21 years, I might make 22 And I don't mind dying but for the love of you But if fate should break my stride He said I'll leave you my Vincent too
out, Jimmy. All the notes. All the notes. Well, what a great, what a great song that is. Oh my God. I've been playing that song for as soon, as long as it's been out. I love that song. Well, and you you do it well. I used to do it like him. I used to use that weird open tuning and you know do all. Oh, you do did. it like him. And then when we started to do it, we changed it to this version. And this is now I can't now I can't do it any other way. Well, there you go. So there's our show, everybody. Live stream number thirty three in the bag. In the bag. Right. Songs that we wish we'd written, but we just couldn't <laughs> now you know this is it's worthy of another you know the theme is worthy of another try, a try if we want oh you want to go you want to go a second round either of this? that this is my thought for next month I, I did have some requests for holiday songs just want to put that out there well yeah Although we should have done some we should have done it this time i know i know i mean no I one's going to want to hear holiday songs <laughs> in between our next or the, yeah the next time well, I was thinking either we could do another one of these, or since it's we're doing it right before my birthday, that I could choose all the songs for you and for me. That oh, would be another one. Is that how it's going to go? No, it's just a thought. That's what you want for your birthday. You want to choose all the songs for the live no, stream? No, no, I want, I want, I want uh, cool <laughs> stuff for my birthday. You want cool stuff. His birthday is December thirtieth. Everyone. Right. right. Well, anyway, well, we'll have to we'll, we'll have to wrestle with that one. We'll have bit. to think about that, yep. but maybe maybe there's certainly more. It's, I know, it's a would, deep, deep well. Could be fun. A yep. Great song. So thank you so much for joining us. Again, we have PayPal, we have Venmo. If you're in the mood to tip, and uh, remember that this broadcast is archived. So if you enjoyed it and you want to pass it on to somebody else yeah, who tell might tell your friends, yep. Yeah, tell your friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channels. Um, this goes out to his channel and my channel. And when we hit a thousand. I think when we each hit a thousand subscribers, that's when we actually start earning a few pennies from YouTube, <laughs> from YouTube watches. I can't, I can't wait. So, <laughs> yay! <laughs> but anyway, we're glad you could join us, and we hope that you're well and warm. And um, we'll see you next month. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Yes, in the broadcast. <laughs>